Hi, I'm Brandon Mitchell. You may have seen me from such YouTube collaborations as Jake Bro, Georgie's Ukraine Matters, Arthur Rahe, Willie OAM, Andrew Mercado, and who could forget Operator Starsky. On my own YouTube channel, you may see people such as Pasha, Max, Dimitri, Nika. You might have even seen a Rebecca, perhaps uh, an Ignot. Well, uh, you might see Philip, the lesser spotted Philip of Donbass, if you go way back. A lot of great people. Um, I decided to title this video, It's Not a Fucking Movie. Um, I've been inspired to make this today. I received no less than three messages uh, from people asking me, can I help Ignot or Ignatius or Iggy, as you may know him? Um, Ali, who moderates on, on my channel and is of a great help to me, uh, I'm, I'm ever so grateful to Ali, um, she was contacted by no less than five people. Now, what does Ignot need help with? Nothing from me. He's my friend. Okay. Um, what you, some people may have seen on Instagram. Uh, a man um, with a broken shoulder. I knew about that before you knew about that. I knew about that before we even knew it was a broken shoulder. Uh, yes, we are friends. And um, kind of like a brother. Uh, sometimes there's some hate there. Okay. And um, I'm very grateful to have a YouTube channel, to have a following uh, that enables me to do things, that enables me to do things that I believe are right, to help people. But let me just ask you some questions, okay? Um, number one, do you trust me at the present? Do you have faith in my intention and goodwill towards my friends and Ukraine as a nation state? Uh, number two, past. Right from the beginning, if you might have heard me right till now. Okay, that's the past. Uh, except for now. Do you think I'm capable? Have I shown a consistency or sustained capability? Have I shown an industrious nature and a consistency, a resiliency? And number three, are you humble? Humble as a Ukraine supporter. Humble as a viewer of my YouTube channel. Are you realistic that this is not a TV show? Um, I, I have aims and goals, and so many of you have enabled them that, that would be impossible without. But are you humble? Are you aware of the four knowns? Um, in life, there's things that you know. Now, there's things that you know that you know. And there's things that you don't know that you know. But there's also the don't knows. Uh, what you know you don't know. And what you don't know you don't know. I'm quite often quite quick in life. I'm, I'm very proud of any of the work I've done on myself. I think it's aided me in Ukraine just as much as anywhere um, to be comfortable with what I don't know. And if I try to learn things, but that I'm constantly aware that there's things that I don't know, that I don't know. Imagine those things that I didn't know, that I didn't know two years ago. Imagine what I don't know, what I don't know now. What I'm talking about, um, so I often, I, I, I've said this before on my channel, um, there are people, Ukraine supporters, Ukraine war vloggers, who will... Well, they will know more about the war than me, um, comparatively, broadly. You, who are viewing this, might know more about the war than me. Uh, but would you also be humble enough to accept that maybe there's things that I know that you don't know? Uh, things that you know you don't know, and things that you don't know that you don't know. So, this is it. Um, what's going on in my life right now. I don't upload a lot of stuff. I've got many, many gigabytes of shit. I've got some boom, boom. I've got some very good boom, boom. I'm holding back. 
Um, I've got some interviews with people like just sitting in the car that I love, uh, Dr. Donnelly, uh, Tilda, um, people that you're not aware of. If you're Swedish, you should definitely know who Tilda is. Um, I've got Archer Rahe sitting in the car with me. I, I wanted, you know, we have become friends. I didn't like Archer when I first met him, but I see him as a human being who puts himself outside of his comfort zone uh, when he comes to Ukraine and does what he does. You know, like he's comfortable in front of the camera, but the fact that he puts himself out there outside of his comfort zone, I find that fascinating and I, I have a respect for him and he's my friend. Um, you know, that video will probably do 50,000 views, which my channel could probably use that right now. Uh, I've got one with Marcado, who is my friend. Okay, I've had nothing but good experiences with him. He has problems with other friends of mine now and they have with him. And... Um, Unless something drastic happened, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take a side, uh, nor should I ever have to. Um, so, so people's opinions, uh, what I'm talking about, perception, okay, uh, perception of things, it kind of is like a TV show here, you know. Um, I've always tried to put a positive spin on, um, not on what I do, like with 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 your money. Uh, that you donate, uh, what I use this platform for, but I've tried to put a positive spin on the war, um, that despite having my hands on 500 to 1,000, perhaps 1,000 plus uh, Ukrainian casualties, alive or dead, um, I don't think about that, or I try not to think about that. I think about uh, Maxine, you know, I think about Pasha, uh, Rishala, come help us! You know, I think about Sabir, um, Andre, Dima, a lot of Dimas, um, a lot of Sashas too, for that matter. But I've, my channel, I, I do actually take pride in it, uh, besides what it's able to provide in, in monetary, physical support and capital, uh, which what it brings to the table. I do take pride in showing my friends, you know, um, I try not to make it about me, of course, it's my life experience, but I just try to show you people that you would otherwise n never know they existed. And I, I know people have um, a feeling, uh, a deep admiration of certain people, you know, that, that you worry for them, that you want to care about them. And and I, I know people who watch my YouTube channel who have met some of those people in Ukraine, you know, like how cool is that? In Rico, uh, who supports me from International Aid Group, uh, they're volunteering now in Kharkiv, uh, taking all their leave time for the year, you know, from their jobs. They give it up for Ukraine. And he went to see Sabir uh, the other day, and they had a mandate. Without, I was a little bit jealous. You know, but these are real people. Uh, these are real, real people. So what's going on in my life? Uh, sometimes I don't upload a video for a week or two. I'm having some health problems. Um, and I'm not going to go into details about it. I've mentioned some of them before and I'm, I'm just trying to deal with them as best as I can, but there's a road out, but it's going to be a long road. <laughs> um, immigration, you know, Harley always struggled for donations when he wasn't home. I'm not really struggling. Uh, if I'm honest with you, um, I was in a bit of a panic the other day because it was a bit of a slower month. Look what I've uploaded. Not much. Um, but on my Instagram, I did a massive campaign to buy EcoFlows, 30 EcoFlows. In a couple of weeks, those will come. So when I think about that, no, thing, things are going normal. And I want, I want to thank everybody who supports me. I really want to thank people who read my community posts. For me, that's easier right now. Just the, where I'm at right now, it's, it's easier to articulate um, my experiences. Uh, I've been part of a rehab program. Uh, with 100 Ukrainian medics through Repower. I showed pictures. I went into detail about that in a community post. I'm going to post a lot more pictures. Um, Quartermaster for Ukraine, who I work for here in Sweden. Um, dare I say I was instrumental. I really pushed. Um, it was a project. It was probably about 1.2, 1.5 million crowns. So it's about 140,000 euros um in med supplies every medic got a medic bag like fully equipped with the good stuff i'm not talking nothing shit everything was the best um i couldn't do that myself 
You know what I mean? Like uh, I couldn't raise that kind of capital in a month. I, I take about 30 grand a month. That That's like that. that that's the power of an organization. I still have autonomy to fundraise for what I want to do, but being part of that here in Sweden, um, and, and some of these things are not really my victories to share online. I do have some cool film. Uh, if you look at like the short, I'm, I'm going to upload more of those of the campfire songs. Yeah, I, I went and presented that stuff and I spoke, um, uh, took me about an hour to write my speech. It was about three, four minutes, but I can write in Cyrillic, um, yeah, I spoke in Sergic and, and I knew two medics there from 35 Brigade, 36 Brigade. Uh, I was invited to stay for the program, you know, and, and, and two people that I know and work with, other people that know people I know, or they know Tilda, who, who works in Donbass for our organization. Um, that was very gratifying in front of the Swedes, uh, if I can be honest, my ego, that A, who is this Canadian guy? Because because I do feel uh, very subordinate here. Not that I can't take orders, but I feel out of place. And all, we're given a half hour slot and we smashed it. I mean, it. yeah, okay, it's a competition. I wanted I wanted us to do the best, to give out the most. I think we succeeded. Um, and I wanted, I told the organizers, I wanted to challenge all the other Swedish organizations to let's do even better. You know, 400 medics brought to, to Sweden for rehabilitation programs. Uh, they invited me to stay, you know, and, and to be part of it and just to be with my friends. Um, I had to go back to work. Yaroslava's truck had to go. This is stuff that just happened in the, over Easter. I, I had to get her truck. Uh, I, I bought another patrol um, that is in Poland now. You know, I had to sort that. I had to pack more supplies. They asked me to come to Ninasham, to the ferry. Uh, some of the guys, like, would you come see us go? Um, I was part of an amazing, 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 amazing thing. Um, the next program is in June. And the funding will be there to do even bigger and better for them. Because uh, we've made our mark and it can be a success. Not only was it a success uh, to help 100 medics, to give out like a thousand plus dollar med pack to each one. They didn't even think they were going to get it. They just thought the presentation was funny because some organizations did like show and tell, you know, um, and that's okay because they're, they're all doing different things, but everybody actually got one. Um, we're going to have no problem pulling that off again. Maybe it could be 200,000 euros next time. Um, it's possible. Um, and they all have a card. They all have a business card with Quartermaster for Ukraine's Instagram and Tilda's number on Signal. Uh, people there know her already. All you got to do is say what, what brigade, what direction you're in, and if we can help you when we do our runs. So they now have a new contact for help. So, so that's something I can't do on YouTube. That's something that Ukraine TBIC can't do, the Masa Brigade. Um, but that's really cool, and I've, I put a lot of work into that. The other thing that's really stressful in my life, I got health, I've got QM for Ukraine obligations. I'm still spending your money uh, on projects, you know, like uh, like the eco flows. Um, that was a big one. So now I'm on the renal system. So now I know about nephrons. Did you know that there's over a million nephrons in each kidney? Okay. Do you know about the loop of Henley? Do you know about osmotic pressure? Some of you do. I didn't know about any of this before. Okay, now I, this is stacked on, I'm not going to lift it up here to prove a point, but I've got three textbooks under here. Uh, the paramedic protocol practice ones are not hard for me. But Sasha, as I've introduced you to him, we don't call him Sasha, that's his name. Um, his mother calls him Oleksandr Sergeyevich. Um, you know, he told me if I could study anything, I should study physiology. And the more that sinks in, that will aid me with all my future. I'm going back to England. March 15th, um, I will have my FRAC 4 course. Okay, so then I'm a qualified British EMT. How cool is that? That This is a goal I've had. And I've spent your money. I've spent my money. I make a salary now. After tax, I clear about 2,200 euros a month. I'm not rolling in it. And about 40, 30, 40% of that goes to Ukraine stuff. Whether it's by night vision or by infu, it's it's neither here nor there. Uh, but I'll be quali I'll, I'll have a legal qualification, a second legal qualification to my name, and I have one hundred and twenty hours pre-study uh, to finish, 
and I chose, which for me is very, very hard, you know, like um, we're 15 minutes in now, I'll tell you how hard it is, um, and I want to be honest, you know, I will clean the entire house, I will take Masa for a walk, I will trim my toenails before I read this goddamn book. Can you relate to that, something that you don't want to do? But when I get into it, I, I clock two hours, I clock three hours. Um, the circulatory system was the most fascinating to me so far. Cardiac and cir circulatory, um, you know, uh, atomic stuff. Yeah, that's kind of no, like cool to know now with our Natrochlor, NaCl. Yeah, that makes sense how that works. You know, it's all, I'm a little bit proud of myself. But that's what I'm doing now, and I find it uh, very, very stressful, but it's my priority. Um, should my priority be YouTube? You could argue that, yes, you could argue that, but I made this choice for myself. Um, I said before, I never had social media till two months into the war. Johnny FD, some of you people hate him, you know. Uh, he shouted me, gave me $2,000. Uh, that was my springboard. That, that was me on the way to like people like Marcus who were here from day one or Mark Sedona or, you know, like loads of people. No, but like day one on Instagram uh, that supported me, that backed me and still do. Um, should YouTube be my priority? I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. Not right now. If I can get a video out every 10 days, maybe that will be all right. Uh, what I need to show to achieve my goals, to help my friends. Uh, I need to show some relevant content that keeps people interested. But uh, most importantly to people who donate to me, I need to show continuously uh, where donations have gone, what we have bought. Uh, there's been some long-term projects, which now I have the film and the proof uh, that accumulate to about $25,000. Uh, one of them I never spoke of, except in community posts, vaguely. I now have the proof that I can show you. Um, so that will come out in the next video after this. But when when three people are writing to me, five people are writing to Ali, can you help Ignat? Now, Iggy is a great volunteer. Uh, I've learned a lot from Iggy. Dare I say, I think he's learned from me. I'm an older man. We, we weren't always friends. Uh, we became particularly close friends um, last year in January, unfortunately. Um, but does a man with 44,000 Instagram followers with a higher engagement rate than me, so he has almost double the followers than me with a, with a higher engagement rate, does he need my help or does Bogdan need my help? Who's Bogdan? Bogdan is a 19-year-old boy in 35 Brigade whose mother died of cancer. Uh, he was in the air defense in Odessa and he volunteered for Morska Pachuta, the Marines, because he wanted to do more and I respect that. And, um, you know, I, I do send your money. And, and usually through Instagram stories, uh, I show the proof. Like if they need $100 for this or that. Um, or for the radio whips because they wanted the longer ones. Sometimes it's cheap little fixes. They already have the $400 radio. Um, that's where I want to spend your money. If you want to support Ignon, if you want to buy his photos of Chernobyl, his mother is a world-renowned photographer. Uh, they're a fascinating family. You should buy that and you should support him. Um, I don't owe Ignot anything. Um, Ignot has helped me. I have helped him. And you'll never hear about it. Uh, what you will hear, uh, I helped him find a good or orthopedic surgeon. Because that's one of my skills. I I. I know that's what a rishala is. They they just fix things. They know somebody who can do or they can do themselves officially or unofficially usually. Um, so I've done my part, but he's a great guy. Of course, you can support him. Um, I just wanted to get that out there because I, I sometimes feel like this is a TV show to some people. I don't think that's my financial supporters, uh, generally speaking. Um, and I'm very glad you're here you know, you're watching. Um, but for many people, it's a passive experience. And, um, you know, I, I, I said to someone today, like, uh, I will go back to Ukraine, a healthier man, an educated man, uh, in a better position. And then some random day, say a year from now, my head gets blown off. And you hear about it like a few weeks later somewhere. 
and maybe you would cry and then you would realize it's not a TV show. No, it's not. It's not a TV show at all. I, um, like, do you trust me? So I'm, I'm just going to, I'm going to read a message to you. It doesn't matter who it's from. Uh, but today, hey, Brandon, I was wondering if I could get a tiny amount of help. I replaced my stolen pickup with a shipbox car. No money to buy better. Unfortunately, obviously, a crucial part broke down. I would like to get it repaired before joining Zaso, Armed Forces of Ukraine. I'm already in recruitment process. I never understood why we were in bad terms, but I must try everything I can to get this car at least rolling. Russian summer offensive is imminent, and I will be fucking deadly. Um, or no, and will be fucking deadly. That's all I'm focusing on now. Humanitarian help is not enough anymore. I agree. Uh, I must take part in the defense and hopefully offense. I replied, I don't trust you. I won't help you. I wish you no ill will. Good luck with all you do. Reply, fair. Thank you for the answer. It doesn't matter who that person is. I had a bad experience with them. Someone I trust has a bad experience. Someone else I trust thinks that that person's fine. But I choose not to help them. So do you have i i go back to it have have i shown you a consistency um i choose not to help them do i know something that you don't know that you know you don't know do i know something that you don't know you don't know certainly the same applies to me to look in a mirror you know but that's basically it um things are going very well with qm for ukraine uh it, it's a challenge uh, it's it's a real challenge for me. I'm learning new things, and it's not forever. Um, I know where I want to be. I know where I need to be. But I really think people jump to conclusions um, too often um, with a lack of knowledge, a lack of understanding. And and when I do that too, sometimes, and I I speak out of turn uh, in a group of people, I feel uh, I I regret that sometimes sooner than later. You know, I, I make a childish outburst and we can do them on the internet too. Um, but I'm ever so grateful for everybody's support. Um, I am not going to help Ignot with this thing because I know he's going to be able to do okay. He has a loving mother who's also going to take care of him. You know what I mean? She's his mother. He may need help, but he doesn't need his help as much as Bogdan or people that you might never ever meet on here. I try to provide as much accountability in pictures, photos, things more on the Instagram because it, it's an easier platform. Uh, some people can it, back me up in the comments. Um, and my community posts are really, really valuable. Not to say I won't be uploading more YouTube, but I'm, I'm just going through a struggle right now. Uh, mornings can be very difficult for me uh, to get going. I've got a few, I've got a few problems. I'm getting better when this textbook's done and then I'm on to the next textbook, uh, a skill set one from the NHS, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Alex Ferguson, if you're listening from NAFO, I lost your business card. Write me an email. Okay, anybody who ever asks, how do I get in touch with Brandon? You're not a very good detective. Okay, someone said recently, um, oh, well, it's so good you shout these organizations. I want to donate to more organizations outside of my own country. I'll take your money. Um, and I'll spend it as best as I can, what I believe to be right. Um, but if not, uh, let me ask you another question. Do you see anybody else? I'm just going to go on the YouTube platform because there's not many people. Uh, Instagram is where you have to go if you really want to find the Ukraine volunteers in Ukrainian or uh, in English. Um, do you know of others who actively shout other people and sometimes share their pot? of money uh, with other people, uh, other volunteers in Ukraine. Um, other than myself, I personally do not. Either they're not in a position to or they're unwilling to. Because I too have been afraid sometimes, what if the spotlight comes off me and I lose support? Um, and there's some months where at the end of the month I've had to grind because, um, you know, I help with this or that. But I try to make the best decision on the day I try never to make the decision on the day if it can wait. Uh, I've learned through my own business practices. Um, your thinking will be clearer in a minute 
in an hour, in a day, in a week. Your thinking will be clearer. But, but we don't always have that. But I try to delay as long as possible. Uh, and I consult other people. So that's who I am. Uh, that's what I do. Um, it's not a fucking TV show. Um, you know, someone said today, Brandon, we need more videos. Uh, can you go around to soup kitchens and do a collaboration with them? Uh, where do you come from? Okay. Uh, I have no interest in soup kitchens in Stockholm. Uh, another issue, uh, before I close up on this one, is this beautiful flag. This beautiful flag. The sky is red and the ground is black. From that blood comes the dark soil, the black soil, the rich soil of Ukraine, the bread basket of Europe. Um, some people say the UPA flag, that's a Nazi flag. That's a fascist flag. You know, I was very well educated. Um, I could have been an academic. Um, the kids that I gelled with in school, I, I was in the reach for the top program as well. Um, I wasn't a gifted athlete, but I, I made the rugby team. Decent boxer. N too late in life, unfortunately. Um, but I'm not an academic. I'm a doer. And I'm very comfortable with what I know. What I know that I don't know. What I don't know I don't know. Um, this flag, you can read about it. You can have your opinions about it, but I can tell you what it feels. Um, you will go on Jake Bro's page, you will go on Willie OAM, you'll go on Georgie's, anyone, and you will see Ukrainian cemeteries, and you will see no less than half, 50-50, maybe, maybe 30%, at the very least, you will see this flag. You will not see the blue and gold flag. Um, many of my friends fight and die under that. You know, I, I don't... I don't know many people personally that have died in the war that I'm close to, no less than 10, that I was like, had a very, you know, quite a good relationship with, but I've seen much and, and they choose to die under that flag. And so for me, that flag means something. Uh, it means a time and place in my life and, and it's, it's what it means to them. So if you don't want to support me, uh, if you want to call me a fascist, if you want to call me whatever, you're doing that from the safety of your own home, okay? So little doggy, um, are you going to bark all day or are you going to bite? No, you're just going to bark. That's, that's all you're going to do. That's all you've ever done. I have hands the size of a girl. Okay, I have no athletic ability. I was never the smartest in life, but I've always found a way. And I will continue to find a way with or without you. Yeah. Because that flag is the flag of my friend who died. And it means something to me. So if you don't like it, if you're so offended by it, fuck off. Don't need you. But I say that very humbly because I'm so grateful to the followers. But I, I never pretend to be someone I am not. Okay. Um, I'm doing the best with what I have to work with every day. The best I can. Um, ha ha ha. TBIC. I try and I make mistakes. And I try to learn from mistakes. And I'm going to share one very personal with you. And I'm not going to go into details because uh, it's not important to you and it's not helpful. But one of the medics is a commander in the Marines and she's a fierce woman and her reputation is legendary. And last year I made a mistake. I made a mistake and I didn't think and I caused problems. And I caused problems with my social media. And, um, you know, that, that footage is gone. And I hurt some people. Uh, it was not for self-gain. It was not for fame. I only seen thermal scopes. Thermal, 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 thermal. Um, you know, that cost me some friendships. That cost me some trust. Uh, little by little, when I moved to Kherson, it was all the Marines. Many people had heard about that. Um, most did not care. They just cared about what I could do in the day. Um, but... I hurt people and you know what I heard inside too, that, that I could fail people and you know, like there's no greater fear for me than to let my friends down. And um, I don't even know if an apology is right, but it's just continuous action. But um, I, I didn't even recognize her in the rehab program. She looked like a woman. 
I've only seen her in daylight three times in my life, you know, 20 times in the dark under austere conditions. But uh, we, we spend a fair bit of time with each other. And uh, are we friends? I don't think so. Uh, th that would be very nice, you know. Um, but we are not enemies. We are not enemies. I'm forgiven. Um, and in Kherson, I was able to do things for her and and her unit with your funding. Um, and, and personally, that probably clouded my judgment where I actually actively tried to give them more, um, you know, to earn back the grace. But um, I've made mistakes. But uh, we parted ways and, and not a hug like everyone else, but a very strong handshake. And um, I was forgiven. I was freed. Um, I make mistakes. I try to get better all the time. That's it. Um, please support me. I tell you to support Harley. He's the only foreigner in Ukraine who consistently makes my life easier and less stressful. Um, I do continuously preach, uh, particularly fairly often, about Andre West, um, who's on Instagram as well from Germany. I, in my opinion, he's the most underrated volunteer. But every time I shout someone else, I bleed my own platform. But I always figure it out every month. So... If you don't want to support me, support good people. Ask me. You can write me an email and ask me who I think is a good volunteer to support. I will tell you very candidly, if you don't want to support me, because some of your money that you give me goes to them. I just want to be very clear about this. Um, but I don't want you to be mistaken of who I am, you know. Uh, I've had people say, Brandon, can you do this? Can you do that? Can you bring food to Roman Truckamits? Can I bring food to Roman Truckamits and I take the wrong road? I don't even know where Roman is. You know what I mean? It's like, and I'm not going to drive down some road to bring him food. He's in third assault. They have the best food in the army. Okay. Um, you know, I am not going to meet with uh, this other YouTuber who I haven't met. I've got nothing wrong with. I don't have the time and it's not in my interest. And really it's not in their interest. If their goal is, is, you know, what I think their goal is similar to mine. It's not in our interest to me. They should keep doing what they do where they do. And, and I believe they're doing good. Uh, and I should be left to do mine. Um, there's photos from England with politicians and stuff. I will upload those videos sometime. But uh, there's photos I have with, you know, ambassador so-and-so or member of parliament so-and-so or minister or whatever. I'll, I won't upload those on my social media because I got such a bad feeling about, ha, ha, ha. Um, I don't want to be associated with that. I could lie to you and put a spin on it and say, oh, it wasn't fabulous meeting so-and-so today. And that, that might look good. Like Brandon gets invited back to the Times again. Telegraph again. I'm ranting now, but I don't want, when the music stops, I don't want to left, be left without a chair with some of those people, just from what I felt and what I seen. And uh, we can talk about that. It took me a long time to recover from England, mentally and physically. It was one of the most challenging things for me, Irina, as well. Um, but that's just a rant now. But I, I, I just want to convey who I am, how grateful I am to you. And, uh, you know, call it, call it, call an election early. I just want to let you know who I am and what I support and what I believe in. And that is a beautiful flag. And I would die for that flag. And my friends, hopefully not. But it's not a TV show. So for anybody who watched to the end, if you are a financial supporter, because the views will go down like this, do you trust me? Um, do you... So number one, you type in the comments, do you trust me? Do you have faith in my initiative and goodwill, uh, my intention? In the past, right up until now, have I proven myself capable? Have I shown consistency, uh, industrious nature, um, resiliency? And number three, are, are you humble? Elaborate on that. And that's not an attack on anyone. But are, are, are you aware that there's things that you know that you know that you know that you don't know? Are the things you don't know that you don't know? Uh, do you have faith in me? Is there a possibility that maybe I know things, uh, certainly maybe on a tactical level, 
uh, not on a strategic level. I, I ain't got no idea what Tursky's up to, you know, um, but that that just wouldn't be responsible. So I have to be humble sometimes and just, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, but I'm just doing the best I can. Uh, last I heard, Joe McDonald's alive. Um, and Ignat's going to be just fine. Uh, but he will require surgery. And uh, I will require surgery. said I was going to talk about my health. Um, if you answer those, do you trust me? Uh, do you think I'm capable? Have I, have I shown the gumption? Uh, and are you humble? One, two, three. Um, pick a, pick pick either an ace, an ace, uh, a club, a diamond, or a heart in your comment, just so I'll know till you're the end, because most of them won't. About a third of the people who answer those will. One, do you trust me? Two, am I capable? Three, are are, are you humble? Elaborate on that. Maybe you share some experiences of things you've learned in the war that you thought to be true but turned out not to be or you learned something new that you never considered we all have to be humble and we have to keep cracking on and i'm very grateful for your support but this is not going to be over in a year not even close that i do know in my heart i love you hold on masa no i'll leave masa sorry to do that to you she's just so peaceful